Tired of copying and pasting from one table to another over and over again? Stop the manual work. With this user-friendly automation, you can streamline the process into a single click. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a button that will automatically archive completed tasks from a checklist. If you haven't already seen it, I made a whole video about how to make this checklist last week. Check it out in the cards. This tutorial uses Office scripts and it's incredibly easy to set up. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I teach Excel users how to create spreadsheets they can be proud of. Welcome to Excel Power Up. If you use Excel in any capacity, you're in the right place. Optimize all of your spreadsheets with my free masterclass, the Spreadsheet Tune-Up. In just five videos, you'll learn how to upgrade any spreadsheet. Start now and you'll have more efficient and user-friendly spreadsheets right away. So this is the to-do list that I created in last, the last video. I'm going to actually just hide these rows because they're not important for this demonstration. So here's the to-do list. You can see that Anything that's overdue is highlighted in red. And then there's a checkbox here for whether the task was completed or not. My goal is to move with a button is to move all of the completed tasks over to an archive. Now, normally this would be on a separate sheet and I'll do that at the end, but I just wanted to put it right next to this table so that we can see it happening in real time. Um, and we don't have to move back and forth between sheets. The important part though, is that you have two tables. One table that um, is the, the source, it's where the rows will be coming from. And then the other table is the target. That's where the rows will be moved to. They both need to be official Excel tables. You can tell that this is an Excel table because the table design tab is available. And you can see the table name over here is to do, the table name for this table is called archive. And if they aren't Excel tables, you're gonna to have to convert them into an Excel tables by using insert table. One important thing to know here is that these two tables have to have the exact same columns. So you can see we have task and completed, but there's no due date column. So I'm just gonna add that now to make sure that they are exactly the same. If they aren't, an error will be returned. Now we are ready to set up this automation. So go to the Automate tab and click on New Script. The code editor will pop up and Excel is going to give us like a sample script, but we don't need that at all. So just remove all of it. And we'll be getting, instead of starting from scratch, we're gonna be getting our code from a Microsoft support article. It's called Move Rows Across Tables. Um, there are several contributors, so I want to give them um, credit because they've created this code that is freely available. Um, there's even a sample workbook if you want. There's a link to this in the description box. So I'm just going to copy this code and then go back to this script and paste it. So I don't have to know how to code. All I have to know how to do is copy and paste. But then we do have to change a few of these arguments, these constants, because um, to make them custom to my workbook. So remember I said we have a target and a source. The target table name here, we need to change from table one to archive because that's where we want to put the rows. And then the source table name was to do. So change these um, for your workbook. And then the next thing we need to change is this these two arguments, filter column index and filter value. This is how do we know which rows we want to move. We want to move the ones where this completed column is equal to true, because that would mean that the button, the checkbox is checked. If it's false, we want to leave these rows here. So the filter column index, instead of calling this column by name, we're using the index. An index is just the number of that column. However, it's based on zero, not one. So the task column here would be column zero, completed is column one, and then due date is column two. So that's really important to know. Um, I'm gonna leave this value as one because I want, because the criteria that I'm looking for is the completed column. And then the value here, you can see that if you have a literal value like a string, um, or text, you'd need to put it into quotes. If you have numbers there, you would put the, the number in that column. 
but I am, my value is true. So I started typing it in, um, Excel helpfully auto completed to lowercase because that's the syntax for, um, office scripts. So now these variables I have modified to read if the column one, which is the completed column is equal to true, then those rows will be moved. And that's all we have to do to edit this code, this very long code um, that is just done for you. I'm so excited about this. So go to the dot, dot, dot up here and rename this. I'm gonna call it archive completed tasks. And I'm giving it a nice full name because that's what's gonna be on the button. So now let's see it in action. Take, keep, keep an eye on these four completed tasks as I click run. You can see the script is running and it did it. It moved all four of those tasks over here. Now, as you can see, the formatting did not move over. So I'm going to select this completed column, go to insert and then click on checkbox so that those are looking the same. And then the due date is in fact a date, not a number. So I'm going home and then I'll format this as a date. So now let's add this script as a button to the worksheet. It's really easy. Just go to this dot, dot, dot up here and click add in workbook. And you can see it actually just did it. It actually started running. So to grab and move it, you have to go all the way to the edge, which I did not do. And you can just put it up here. You can also modify the formatting um, just like you would any other shape in Excel. You can see logs and you can view the script just like that. So let's say um, I'm working, do, 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 got all these done. It's the end of the day and I really, I, or maybe it's the beginning of the next day and I just want to clear all these off. I can just click that as a button and it just cleared all those completed tasks but kept them kept them on my archive. I have one more modification to show you. Let's say you have multiple criteria that you want to use to move rows. So it's not just one column, you have multiple columns that you want to consider. Like for this example, let's say you only wanted to move the rows that are overdue where the due date is before today and that are completed because you want to keep the tasks that are ahead of you that you have already completed. You want to see that you've already done them. Well, in that case, what you need to do is not change the office scripts code because that would be um, too difficult. <laughs> Instead, you need to make yourself a helper column. Um, I'm going to just call this column archive and put the multiple criteria into this column. So we want this archive column to be equal to true if the checkbox is checked and the due date is before today. So we're going to use the function and, and then the first logical test will be if the due date is before today. And today is a function that returns the current date, comma. And then the next argument, which is the next logical test will be if this completed button is equal to true. Oops, true. Close that and enter. So now you can see the ones that I do want to move have a value of true and the ones that I don't want to move these even though they're completed are equal to false. So now I do need to update my script. So I'm going to right click on the button and click view script. And it's opening up in the code editor and then I will edit my code. Go back to this filter column index. Instead of one, I am going to be considering the archive column, which remember this is zero. So zero, one, two, three. So I'm gonna change this from one to three. Save it and then let's test it out. Oh, I made a mistake. The script ran with errors. That's because there are a different number of columns in these two tables. So now I'm just gonna add this archive column also to the archive table 
and then try again. And it did it. It moved those two columns from the top of here to the bottom of here. And then you can just hide this column that you don't want to see. It's a helper column. It's only here to facilitate whatever you want to do. You don't have to look at it. Take note, you will need a work or school account to access Office Scripts at this time. Your organization may also restrict access. So if you don't see the Automate tab in your Excel, contact IT for help. Let me, let me know in the comments what you would use Office Scripts to automate. Check out the description for links to my free masterclass, my online course, and all of my social media if you want to connect.